Benny Johnson here and welcome to another iOS development tutorial. Now in the last tutorial I said that this tutorial will be on dismissing the keyboard when the return key is pressed. However, I've actually decided to change that because we actually don't need that functionality in our application because we're going to be using a different keyboard. Now I will show you in a future tutorial but it wouldn't make sense for me to show you in this tutorial. Plus, I do think it's a little bit complex and it's a little bit hard to understand when you're first starting out. I know I had a little bit of problems understanding delegates. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a little bit of uh, playing around, a little bit of tinkering, just to make our application good and that's basically what we're going to be doing. So first off, we're going to change the keyboard for our, our text fields because if I go ahead and run the iOS simulator here, you can see that we've got all these uh, letters here and we've got all these numbers. But if I were to put like something like that in and submit, nothing happens, right? We don't get anything. Bec oh, we, we do get something because it's zero dollars. They can't convert that to an actual number, right? because it says zero dollars so what we want to do is we want to stop our users being able to enter like text and these symbols here because we don't need all those we only need these numbers because we're only dealing with whole numbers right so we can actually select a keyboard to provide us only with numbers so I'm gonna do that now so I'm gonna go over to my text field and I'm gonna bring down this text field attributes inspector and if you come down to the uh, keyboard attribute, I'm going to change that instead of default, I'm going to change that to the number pad. And this will give us a number pad, basically. And I'm going to do the same for our other text field. So I'm going to bring this over here and keyboard, number pad. And keyboard, number hat pad. And let's go ahead and run that now. And now when I click the text field, we've only got numbers. The user can only type numbers in at this point. We still have that back functionality. However, we don't have that button there because we don't need it. This button allows us to edit the text field while it's been edit edited. And you can see that it is appropriate to all text fields. So that's a little modification we made there. So let's go and do some other modifications. I'm going to get rid of the text inside these labels here because they're always going to show when the program is launching and we don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit these and get rid of the text because we won't be changing these labels anymore so we don't need any reference text inside them. So I'm going to do the same for our... Oh, don't delete it like I did, just delete the text in there and you can see it's a lot more nicer. I'm also going to change the submit button here. I'm going to get the size and make sure they are even because they're a little bit uneven and it's a little bit unprofessional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the width which is... I'm going to change the width to 100 and the height is 50. So then I can go over here. I can have that ruler icon or the size inspector. I can go 100 and I can go 50 right and that's about it I can also put them in the same position so this one is 116 by 118 180 sorry so I can move this over and change the position of the submit button so they're about even and therefore the application interface will look more streamlined. So I'm going to go ahead and run that now. And as you can see, the submit button stays where it is. However, the text labels do not kind of line up. These text fields line up perfectly. Like, it looks so much better, but these text fields uh, do not line up. So I'm going to fix that. And I'm going to set 
just run it again because I just want to make sure that we're getting it perfect and so we want to line up these tech these labels with those labels so in order to do this I'm gonna get the position of our first label here and we're gonna do this modification for both our labels because we've got a label there remember so I'm gonna go and get the position which is 20 by 293 so I'm gonna change this to 293 right move it down I'm gonna get the second label position which is 2322 change that to 322 right and I'm gonna do the same for these labels now this label would be uh, 293 yep so put that in 293 and the same for our other label here which is 322 all right that's about it we've got the same positions for each one yep and let's go ahead and run it and see how it looks and now you can notice that the interface looks so much better it, it flows better you can see the modifications are all even the labels are e evenly lined up and it just looks so much better so that's about it for today's tutorial and I'll see you guys later